In this video, we are going to see Thomas Macaulay from post-colonial point of view. When you read history of English literature from Hudson or from William J. Long or even from David Ditches, you can see the positive side of Thomas Macaulay, only the positive side. But the post-colonial view of Thomas Macaulay and his contribution to India is altogether different. First things first. He played a major role in the introduction of English and Western concepts to education in India and published his argument on the subject in the Macaulay's Minute in 1835. He introduced English and Western concepts. This is where uh, I differ. He never just introduced but he replaced it. In the next slide we will see how he has replaced it. He supported the replacement of Persian by English as the official language, the use of English as the medium of instruction in all school and the training of English speaking Indians as teachers. This led to Macaulayism in India and the systematic wiping out of traditional and ancient Indian educational and vocational system and sciences. This is not a, just an incidental one, but is a pre-planned one from the British government. The colonialism wiped out all the native knowledge in India, in South Africa, in, in uh, Australia, wherever they went. They wiped out the native knowledge, the native customs, the native beliefs. People think that Gurukula was the only system that existed in India and it, it was strictly based on the caste system. Only the upper class community were entitled to get education. It is not like that. It is not like that. We have many system of education like Tinnai Paldigal, which means that people uh, get education from masters who live in their locality. Macaulay, he has he had uh, conducted a survey. He had conducted a survey from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. He went and carefully studied and drafted because he knew very well that Indians were living very happily and they don't need any foreign ideologies for their betterment of life. So he was basically going to corrupt the existing system which made them to which made their life very easy. They were happy. What is the root cause for their happiness? Fine. So he has conducted a survey and found out it was their education system as well as the traditional knowledge right from astrology to uh, medicine, martial arts, mathematics, literature. So he wanted to destroy the whole system how to destroy it? Destroy by making them to forget the mother tongue. So he says, a blatant lie. It is, I believe, no exaggeration to say that all the historical information which has been collected from all the books written in the Sanskrit language is less valuable than the what may be found in most paltry abridgments used in preparatory schools in England. He says that all the collected knowledge of Sanskrit is nothing. When you compare that with European knowledge, he says that even the preliminary education is highly rich in England. Now his literary achievement. As a young man, he composed the ballads Ivory and the Armada, which he later introduced as a part of Lace of Ancient Rome. Lace of Ancient Rome is a very popular poem written by Macaulay. It talks about Roman history. He composed, he started composing that in India and uh, continued in Rome, finally published in 1842. Then uh, the next important work is History of England from the Accession of James II. It was published in the year 1848. At first he had planned to bring his history down to the reign of George III. But after the publication of his first two volumes, his hope was to complete his work with the death of Queen Anne. So regarding Macaulay, Lace of Rome and uh, History of England are the important works you have to remember.